Don Westfall and Dan McCarger back here in downtown Mankato for the final time of the regular season. And then I don't know what they want to, at this point. But they want me to move over. Well, we're too deep into this. I we're know. having too much yeah. fun. The Mavericks, Dan, you just mentioned it, uh, closing out a impressive, I mean, 16-1 and regular season record. And, again, that's kind of what we talked about. It's going to make them a really tough team to beat here. Trying for, for a team to come here, at least the first two weekends, right. to come in here and think they're going to win two of three. Not that it couldn't be done, but the Mavericks, obviously, after a nice sweep this weekend, are going to head into the playoffs with some momentum. I'm reasonably confident nobody had a better regular season home record than the Mavericks. I believe that's I true. Don't, I have not heard of anybody being undefeated at home this year, and the Mavericks have one home loss all season long. So uh, they're obviously being, going to be a huge favorite going into the playoffs, but um, there's a lot of work to do the next three weekends and then three weekends after that. Mavericks again with the 3-1 win. Let's get into the highlights of tonight's contest, Dan. Mark, it's going to begin with uh, Charlie Girard. Even strength is 10th of the season from Mark Michaelis at 4-22, one nothing Mavericks. After one period of play, Josh French, short uh, actually Nick Rivera shorthanded from Josh French and Connor Mackey at 3-44, 2 nothing Mavericks. Then Walker Dewar, from Connor Mackey at 546 makes it 3 nothing Mavericks. And the only goal of the uh, third period of play was uh, Aaron Miller from Somoza and Bobbery at 745. And the Mavericks with a 3-1 victory as uh, that final is there. Uh, shots on goal, 23-19. Mavericks outshot both evenings. That's very, very, very rare. You see the attempted shots. Both teams over on the power play. And the Mavericks win the faceoff battle. And a 31-15 number there. Out of town scores. Ferris beats Lake Superior State 3-2. Michigan Tech shut out by Northern Michigan. Huntsville loses big to Bowling Green. Alaska and, and Fairbanks coming up. UMD leading in the third over Miami 6-5. And St. Cloud State went for two. And uh, Western Michigan with the safety 8-2 there. So WCHA playoffs, here are the, uh, the first round. Minnesota State and Alabama Huntsville. Lake Superior State and Bemidji State. It's Bowling Green and Michigan Tech and Northern Michigan and Alaska. Those are your um, first four series, Don, coming up next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and possibly Sunday. So the Mavericks back here next weekend opening up the WCHA playoffs with Alabama Huntsville, a team that they have beaten 28 straight times. This is not the time to get overconfident, <laughs> no. however. No, uh, but that, that's the scary thing. The math of that just says sooner or later the Chargers are going to win. We just hope it's not either Friday or Saturday next weekend. That's when we're back, however. Again, the Mavericks with the McNaughton Cup in tow. Now start the climb after the Jeff Sauer Cup. And uh, that starts next Friday night. We're back here, 7 o'clock, the pregame show. 7.07, the faceoff from downtown Mankato as the top-seeded Minnesota State Mavericks will take on the Chargers of Alabama Huntsville. We hope you're in the building, but if you can't make it, we look forward to having you here with the broadcast. It'll be a fun, exciting time. The playoffs always are. And again, remember, the first two weekends, it's the best three, two of three series. And again, uh, if all goes well, Dan, you and I will be back here in three weeks with one game to be played for the championship of the WCHA and the automatic berth in the NCAAs. Been waiting for that on this ice for a long time. Let's make it happen. Let's get after it next weekend. So we'll see you Friday night for Dan McCarger, Don Westfall, and the rest of the students from Bethany Lutheran College. We thank you for watching where once again tonight the Mavericks close out the regular season with a 3-1 to win over Bemidji State. <laughs>